Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about this promotion of Ultimate Scream and why the market is so low right now in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team because of what EA is doing with SBCs, with packs, and basically with regulating this market. I know we've talked about it a few times before, but a lot of people keep asking me the question, why are these cards so low? Why are these cards not rising? We've invested in them. We try to even do Thursday flips with them. They don't really work. What is the deal with some of these cards on the market? So I'm gonna talk about some of that stuff today. And uh, EA is honestly doing a great job of making it hard to make coins through just trading. They're not allowing the market to just flat out rise because they keep putting out content, putting out SBCs that give out packs or putting out SBCs that drain coins and that does not allow the market to rise in some areas or as a whole, um, but it still does rise in some areas, so we'll talk about those things as well. But a lot of you guys have been noticing this weekend with the new Scream promotion, we do have promo packs in the store. Let me take you back to the store and look at the promo packs. But uh, these are not lightning rounds by any means. So the total number of packs that are coming onto the market is not as high or any, honestly, it's not even anywhere close to what a 50K or a 100,000 coin pack lightning round would do to the market. So these packs right here, there's 10 25Ks, 5 35Ks, and 8 45Ks. I mean, yes, there's a lot of players that are being packed in these packs, 82 pluses, the 86 pluses, the screen players are all less than 1% in all of these cards. So the screen cards are not entering the market through um, a lot of people opening those packs. Now I'm sure there are people opening those packs, but the packs that everybody does are these SBC packs in the store. Black Cats, Curse of the Werewolf, Dracula's Army, and Zombies. We've had two days of this Ultimate Screen promotion, and they have put out four SBCs that have that all together cost, per, they're, they're not very expensive, 5K, 4K, 5K, 4K. So basically, you can do all these SBCs for around 20,000 coins, and you get yourself um, what kind of packs do you get for this? A Prime Mixed Players, a Premium Gold Players, it's a 25K pack, Small Prime Gold Players, and a Small Prime Electrum. So you're getting very good packs for four to 5,000 coins per SBC, and everybody does these. And this is the thing that EA is continuing to do this year that drops the market. So basically every day at 6 p.m. UK, when we get the content drop on FIFA, this is what we're seeing every day. The market is chilling, maybe up a little bit from nighttime, 70 points last night, up to 72. We get near the 6 p.m. Uh, UK drop right here, and look, people already know that it's coming. People start selling stuff. Even before we get to 6 p.m. UK, you start to see the market turn down. Boom, 6 p.m. UK comes right here. The SBCs come out, and for the next hour and a half to two hours, everything just goes down low. And that's just what happening is, it's these packs that are being opened. Everybody does these quick SBCs. Um, because they know these scream cards are in packs, they want the opportunity to pack one. And with all these packs being opened on the market, it dumps a lot of supply on the market for all cards, but particularly the low rated ones. And the, since we're early on in the game, there's so many low rated cards that are getting packed a ton, and that's causing their price to drop. Low rated cards that actually go for a certain amount of value because they're good in game. Example right here, Gabriel Jesus, 30,000 coins, 42,000 coins just a mere two weeks ago almost, um, and early, it's like the second week of the game. Here we are at the middle end of October. The man's down to 19K. Literally, if you look at his daily graph, what happened on Friday, he was 26K. Boom, SBCs came out, down to 21. He rebounded a little bit to 23. Yesterday, 22, 23, rose up to about 24. Pack supply hits again, and he's down back under 20,000 coins. So the market is continuing to drop, and that is basically why. It's something that's been happening throughout this entire year. More pack supply equals dropping prices on the market for the lower tier stuff especially, but even some of the upper tier stuff continues to drop. You can really see where the demand is for cards on FIFA right now because those cards have maintained their price or even went higher. Guys like Langley, guys like Varan, Messi, are an example of, of a few guys that have, their prices have actually gone up. If we let's go and search one of those guys, let's go and search Varan. Through all of these SBCs that have been released over the past couple weeks and even this weekend, Varan's price continues to go up. We're in the middle of a week in league sell off right now, so you see his price down 273 from where it was 294 on Friday, but his card price just continually rises up amidst the uh, insane amount of packs that are being opened. 
and stuff like that. So that is part one of why the market is low. Uh, part two is because we keep getting these SBCs. These these SBCs that you see people advertise on um, on Twitter or on Instagram, they take a picture of this card and they kind of value the SBC. There's a lot of content creators out there that take a picture of the SBC, show the card, show the requirements, and show the cost, and they say, is it worth it? A lot of people have said this Scream Navas is worth it. I don't think he is. He's got the two-star weak foot, but that's 40 or 50,000 coins that EA is draining from your club by you turning that in for an untradeable card. This Milner's 200K. Um, the Herit SBC, honestly, this SBC isn't too terrible for an 86-rated card. EA is making these SBCs just good enough or just expensive enough that it costs you a little bit of coins to do them, so it takes away some of your coin supply, but it's also not expensive enough that it seems outrageous. This Herit card, 86-rated, he's got really good stats, fits the meta. About 60,000 coins right now via footbin. Not a bad card. Osimhen. Everybody should do this card. He's an unbelievable player, but he's another, he's another 13 to 15k if you don't have the cards in your club already that you're going to be um, expending of your coin value to go get that card. Bastian Schweinsteiger is another one. He's a bit overpriced, but there's a lot of German fans out there who have the memory of Schweinsteiger playing for their national team or playing for their club team back years prior. And now he's in the MLS, but he still has that German card doing. They gave him a massive stat up boost. This is still a very desirable card in the game. But you get to shell out over 200k for that card. Even a Bamiang, people are doing this SBC because they have the cool card designs. They have the upgraded stats. And people are just addicted to SBCs on this game. That's why you're not seeing the market rise up a ton. Now, how do I see this going forward? I still think EA is going to be dropping SBCs like this throughout the Ultimate Scream promo, and honestly, almost every other day in the near future. I mean, even when the Scream promo is done, I think you're going to see SBCs like this one right here that give you a cheap pack for a low value. And what EA is doing is they're spamming the market with that supply, making stuff that you invest in, like informs and gold cards and 83s and 84s and meta golds that you want to invest and flip overnight or invest for weekend league. It makes those cards go down because they get pack supply all the time. Yes, it puts coins on the market, but you can see where those co those coins are going. They're going to the upper tier of players on this game. Guys that are very high rated, Conte, um, Pogba, um, De Bruyne, guys like those that are people have enough coins now to buy those players, and you're seeing those prices rise up. Messi is another example of that. So I think that this is going to continue to to happen in FIFA Ultimate Team. We're going to continue to see these SBCs come out, and that basically just means we have to judge the time of the week that it is, where are people at in terms of in the middle of a promotion or not, and especially if it's on a weekend. Right now, we're in the middle of a weekend league sell-off. We are in the middle of Saturday night into Sunday as I'm recording this video and as you're watching it most likely. We're in the middle of a time where people are finishing their weekend league games, they're selling their teams to get coins back, they're going to do SBCs, they're going to do drafts, or they're going to just get their club liquidated because a lot of people sell their teams after the weekend because they don't like holding onto cards because they think they're going to go down in value. And this year especially, people are just scared that they're going to lose value in their cards. That's the most common question that I see too from a lot of people is, hey, if I, if I buy this card now, is it going to drop a lot over the weekend? Or is it going to drop a lot by the time I finish my weekend league team? Or is it going to drop a lot in two weeks? There's a lot of people that, of course, right now, if you're playing Weekend League, you're probably not playing a ton of rivals during the week, and especially with the icon swaps going on, why would you keep your team for the middle of the week when you can have those coins liquid and ready and not lose coins on your players when EA puts out SBCs, and you can go ahead and maybe get some rivals points by working on these icon swaps. So that's why I think you're seeing a lot of those cards um, continue to stay low and why people are selling off their teams on the Weekend League. But... There still is a lot of people that buy back weekend league teams on Sunday nights because for the past couple of years, it has been taught and it has been known that Sunday nights are some of the cheapest parts of time on the market. Well, I'm here to actually tell you guys that Saturdays have actually begun to be cheaper than Sundays because a lot because people are actually starting to sell on Saturdays. They get their 30 games done on Friday and Saturday night. They sell their stuff. They chill on their Sunday. And everybody on Sunday is looking to buy. So the people that are selling are selling the people that buy so the price doesn't go down. On Saturday, it goes down because there's not as many people buying than there are selling. There's more people selling 
on those Saturdays. So like right now, if we go over here to PlayStation 4 on the market index gold on Flipin and look, you do see that we're in the middle of a week and they sell off. Um, and a lot of times when you see these big pack uh, openings, when the EA puts these SBCs out, you see a market rebound. But again, since it is the weekend league sell-off, there's more people selling right now than there are buying. So this supply hits the market, these prices go down, but there's nobody buying those cards back to put in their teams. So that's why you don't see a bounce back on the market. A lot of times when I've showed you these graphs earlier in the year, you've seen an SBC come out, the market goes low, and then two to three hours later, the market shoots right back up because people go back and they buy those cards, they use those coins that they just got from the SBC, to go buy new players and some of the players prices go up but today you've seen that that has not happened because some people are selling off their teams and stuff like that so a lot of you guys are asking when is the market going to go up in the near future this is when i see the market going up in the near future monday tuesday basically after the weekend league people are still going to be buying some cards for their teams you're still going to see that sunday night squad battles time is like the turnaround especially for some of the team of the week cards um, I think of especially like Wijnaldum, very popular card from this week's team of the week. What is that? Is he like 170k right now? Yeah, he's like 170. Actually, he's not 170. Excuse me, 175. Okay, Wijnaldum's about 175k. But you're gonna see a lot of people that want to get this card for their team. They're not gonna buy it right now on Saturday night. They're gonna buy it tomorrow night on Sunday. Which you're gonna see this card rise up on Sunday. Team of the weeks are usually actually the cheapest cheapest on Saturdays now instead of Sundays because of the weekend league sell-off, and people know that Sundays were always the cheapest. So now Saturdays are the cheapest. But Sunday night is where you really see a turnaround on stuff. And that's why I live stream live during Sunday night squad battle rewards is because people are playing squad battles right now to get their objectives for the icon swaps. They get those coins. They go out on the market and they buy teams heading into Monday and Tuesday. That's when we've seen actually the most market rise Except for after awards Thursdays until 6 p.m. UK on Thursday, that short, whatever it is, eight, nine hour time span. The other times we've seen the biggest increase on the market is Sunday night into Tuesday because predominantly so far, EA has not been dropping these packs SBCs, the cheap pack SBCs on Mondays and Tuesdays. That could change since we're in the middle of a promotion. We do have Champions League this week as well that we have to think about. But if you're looking to buy some players, Sunday night could be a decent time. Right now could be a decent time depending on the card. A lot of the higher tier stuff I would expect to go down a little bit more on Sunday. But um, yeah, that's where I could see some of the stuff starting to rise back up again. And if you're going to buy something, if you're going to build a team, the stuff that's going to go back up the most is going to be stuff that has already risen the most. The stuff that is OP. The stuff that is highly valued. The stuff that links to very meta players in this game. One of my favorite players so far this year has been Um Titty. What is he? What is Umtiti at the moment? 60k. He's dropped a lot. But this is a card that consistently rises because he has the links. He is on Barcelona. He is French. Think about the French guys that are popular in meta in FIFA so far this year. Varane, Lenglet. Um, and you have, of course, De Young who being a Barcelona player. Ter Stegen, one of the best goalkeepers in the game. Inform Semedo. Inform uh, Theo Hernandez, a French left back. There are a lot of French teams that people are running right now with their back lines and this is kind of the most budget option in terms of Leng Lei being 120k for Ron being 270 to 290 this is like your budget center back who is still very very good and a lot of people are starting to use a card like Umtiti medium high work rates you put a shadow on him he's got 70 plus pace he's got upper 80s defending very very good card this is the kind of guy that you can see and we can actually look at his graph really quick over here on footbin I can actually show you his graph and you will be able to easily see that this card moves up and down a lot, as you can see here, because he is highly valued. So I bought this card actually myself. I got him on bid. This tells you how cheap stuff gets on Sunday nights. 63,000 coins, it shows as his lowest buy now. I got some um titties on bid Sunday night after a squad battle rewards, about an hour or two hours after, for 55 to 58,000 coins. And I sold them on Tuesday for around 69 to 70,000 coins before that, I think there was an SBC that came out on Tuesday. So I sold that guy on Tuesday for around 70,000 coins. He peaked actually on Friday, 71K, because it's a very meta and valuable weekend league card. But you see this guy's card move around all the time, 60K, 72K. This is a very meta card in the game, very usable. And a guy like this is going to be valued for people's 
team. So that's just one example. There's many prime examples out there. I would tell you if you're looking for cards that are going to be meta in this game, don't just go buy them titty. Go do some more of your research. Look at cards that are 85 rated and or higher that are popular nations, especially French or Brazilian or English, that are going to make it into people's teams for the Weekend League. Martial, Rashford, a couple other items that I think are very hot and a very popular Lucas, Musa Sissoko are getting into a lot of teams. Those kind of cards, even though they're lower rated, still move a lot on the market, but especially the higher rated ones like Lacazette, like Firmino, and some other guys like that that are Prem, Meta, Good Nation, Good League. Those guys are going to be the guys that you can look at on Sunday night for squad battle rewards and just the guys that you're going to see rise a little bit into the beginning of the week this next week. I know this video is getting long, so I want to make one more point, and that is about the actual screen cards that are on the market. A lot of these cards have moved a decent amount of value. There's actually not that many of them that are in packs right now. Some people bought these cards last night to flip them. Hamas Rodriguez right now, as I'm looking at his price, is very, very low. He was like 470k all day yesterday. He's 389 right now. This could be a situation uh, for an overnight flip, but by the time this video goes live, that situation will be over with, so we'll just have to judge it in the morning. But these cards are going to continue to get packed. A lot of people want to know when are these cards going to get cheap. I still think that they are very expensive. Some of these cards are very overpriced. Some of them have good stats, but like Delhi Ali, 315k for that card. Kante costs you about 370, 380k, and I mean Kante is going to be a better CDM. Delhi Ali might be a better box to box, but. Bernard looks very good, 228K. Is he comparable to Leroy Sané? He might have a little bit better shooting and passing and physical, but Leroy Sané has 95 pace. That's a comparable card that you can compare him to. So I still think some of these cards are very overpriced. Aguero at 1.6 I think is a little bit overpriced, but that is like a team of the season-esque card. I mean, some of these cards do have very, very good statistics. I think Otamendi is overpriced at 270. Um, but some of these cards are kind of accurate as well, but they just don't have the demand. So if you're watching any of these cards, wait to get them until Thursday. Weekend League Rewards is going to be out in full steam again. That's when promo cards on the market are usually the cheapest. Thursday, right before they go out of packs, they get hit hard with Weekend League Rewards. You could see these cards dip down then. During the week, you could also see these cards dip down um, with... These these packs that we've been talking about on the game, these these cheap, easy SBC that you can complete for packs. If you see some of those come out in the middle of the week this week, that might influence some of these screen card prices as well. And again, these screen cards go out of packs Friday morning. There's going to be a new set of screen cards in the game when these cards go out of packs. You see it there, five days, 14 hours. So Friday, these go out of packs. And I think they're gone. They may be, I hope they're not in packs next week with the second team. But I think the second team is going to come out on Friday. And it's just, just going to be those cards in packs, I think. So we'll have to watch out for that. But that's my idea on the screen cards. Team of the Weeks as well. Try to pick them up late Saturday. So like right when this video comes out, if you're one of the first ones to watch it, it could be a decent shot to pick up some of these Team of the Week cards. Again, the stuff that has been rising this year, it has to be meta. It has to be very linkable. And it has to be... Premier League. Basically, it has to be Premier League or Barcelona or linked to other um, very OP players in the game. So I'm thinking of Digne is a good investment. Kane is okay if he gets... He's like 100K, which I think is pretty cheap. Wijnaldum is fantastic. I think uh, Genie Wijnaldum is a decent one as well. Or, excuse me. I just said Wijnaldum twice. I think Gundogan, Gundogan is also a decent investment. If you guys remember his inform from last year, that performed well. But Digne, Wijnaldum, Gundogan... Kane, maybe Lewandowski, maybe Acuna a little bit, P Pjanic a little bit, okay, maybe. Maybe later if we get some more Serie A informs, some more Piemonte Calcio informs. We'll see what happens with those. But again, the market is low. It probably will recover a little bit, but I don't think it's going to ever go as high, at least until after Black Friday, until something changes, until EA stops putting out these SBCs, and until people continue to get coins on this game. But EA is doing a fantastic job of pounding us with content, of pounding us with SBCs that people have to go out and actually complete and use their coins to trade in for an untradeable card and ultimately lose value and lose coins so they can't do as much on the market. And that's why you see the market kind of staying low. Icons again, I haven't mentioned icons. I wanted to say something about those in this video too. Icons are up, up, 
and a higher than normal, but that makes sense, right? If the higher rated cards on the market are going up, so are icons. Actually, look at this. Thursdays on the market are big days for icons each week. So these, this graph I see is gonna continue to go up. Some of those meta icons people are actually being able to afford now. The rise in the market is slower this year. It's a lot slower compared to last year because of all these packs and SBCs that EA is putting out, draining our coins, taking 5K from us here, taking 25K for an SBC, taking 250 for a, a Schweinsteiger, taking 30, 60K for a Herit. Stuff like that is really taking its toll on the market. Obviously, a lot of us who are probably watching this channel, you might not be doing all these SBCs like a Schweinsteiger, like a Herit, but there's a lot of people in this, in this game that do tons of SBCs because the cards are cool and because they know those cards are only gonna be there for a limited amount of time. So that is just, people are so drawn in to SBCs this year, especially with the content that EA is putting out. Sorry boys, I've been talking for a long time. Hopefully I answered a lot of your questions. If you have any more, put them down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.